Track, Toronto FC select midfielder Subasa Endo. It's just him here. I can't wait to start my pro career in Toronto. A lot of things happen, you know, I mean, it's hard to describe. I'm standing here with a lot of confidence. After 2017 year, you know, we had a great year, but I didn't really, you know, play. And after that, I wasn't with the first team. So that year was definitely a difficult moment for me. But I kept my head down and kept working hard, even though everybody said, you know, it's, it's done and whatever. It's, it's been uh, quite a journey for me, but you need to believe in yourself. I define myself as a hard worker, and that's what I've been doing since when I was in elementary school. So like, this is kind of habit for me. Tsubasa Endo. I think TSU is like kind of hard to like pronounce for Americans and then Canadians, I think. So, I mean, I make my teammates call me my name too. My name was named after Captain Tsubasa, which is uh, one of the most popular manga uh, in Japan. It's everywhere, like manga, anime, uh, TV, you know, it's, you can, you can find it everywhere. Everybody knows the manga in Japan and honestly, like, I think it's everywhere in the world. I, I actually saw um, Soteldo's uh, thigh. There's a tattoo of Captain Tsubasa's on his thigh, I think on the left one. And it's cool to see, you know, a little bit of influence in all over the world. You know, my, my dad named it after, uh, after it and uh, it, it's cool and I think a lot of people or well, a lot of young, you know, teenagers or uh, children are influenced by those kind of things and then they just want to be a professional soccer player. And that's, you know, that was, uh, I watched it too and then I wanted to be a professional soccer player by watching that too. I, le I actually left home when I was 12 years old because it was like um, three hours away or like four hours away from my home because I had to go to uh, North Japan for six years. And um, so it was, I'm, I was kind of used to leaving my family. I mean, it's always tough, but like it's, it wasn't as hard as um, before. But um, when I first came over to USA, it was, it was one, one of the most challenging things in my life. Yeah, I definitely took a different path than, you know, normal Japanese people. They were like, oh, you go to the States for college, like, you, you stop playing soccer. You know, they, they have no idea what's going on in the States, especially in college. That was 2012 when I came to the States and you know, I had to study a lot as well, especially my English, you know, wasn't so great back in the day. So I had to do twice, more than twice than, you know, uh, everybody else. By playing soccer, made me relax a little bit, you know, um, aside from studying so much every day, you basically with your teammates and, you know, train, uh, be with them around them and, I, I think that was that was definitely something that I never forget. And even though I took a different path, like I I ended up playing in MLS and getting drafted by Toronto FC, and I'm glad that I took this path. And it's something different, and I like something different. Toronto FC select midfielder Subasa Endo. My dad and my mom to, uh, told me that my mom is going to go to the draft and I told, I told him not to come because I didn't know like I was going to get drafted or not. And then Toronto picked me in this ninth overall in the first round and I wasn't ready for it at all. I don't know, my speech was kind of bad, but uh, it was really important for me to, to have my mom right next to me. So, I mean, it's just incredible. Endo comes in. 
continues his run into the box. It's played towards Subasa Endo. Subasa Endo gives Toronto FC the lead. It's his first MLS goal. A lot of things happen, you know. I mean, it, it's hard to describe. I'm standing here with a lot of confidence. After 2017 year, you know, we had a great year, but I didn't really, you know, play. And after that, I wasn't with the first team. So that year, 2018, was definitely a difficult moment for me. I was with the first team for preseason. They, they told me to come back and improve yourself again and without a contract. And I was like, okay. And honestly, didn't have anywhere else to go. So I, I went with them and I, I thought I had a good preseason. But then, you know, I'm out to find an international spot. So it's, it made him tough for them to, you know, resign me again. They told me to sign with TLC too and um, work on a permanent residency. And, and at the moment I was like, I was, um, I guess a little bit immature, you know. Um, that I was like, no, I, I don't want to, I didn't want to sign with TLC too. And I, I was kind of seeking for a little bit, you know, different. I went to Belgium for a tryout for around a month. And uh, it, it was something different, you know. I mean, TLC has been my club and it was actually the first time that I went outside of TLC, but it didn't go well. And I came back to Toronto and uh, I trained around two months. And then I was like, at the moment I need to play. I need to play some games. I reach out to Tim, the GM. I decided to sign right away and uh, just I just wanted to play. I wanted to enjoy the game. I play like 14 or 13 games with TLC2 and then I play well, I scored a lot of goals and they decided to sign me again for the next year, which is 2019. We had a good year, and the beginning, like I didn't play for the first, uh, I would say, 16 games. I, I've been there. I know how to do with that kind of stuff. So I kept training. Whenever I get my chance, I I gotta take it. You know, just the uh, day before the game day, I had I was told by Greg that you know I I will start and. Yeah, I think since then, I, I think I play well. After 2019 or last year, or at this moment, like I never, you know, really look back and like how proud I am. You know, that's not who I am. I want to always look forward, see what I can do in the future, especially in the present as well. That's what I'm focused on, especially with the new coach. There's always something to prove. Listen, guys, those, some of you guys might not know, Subasa, Suba, you guys call him, is having uh, to go to get a surgery in the next days. Um, well, as a player, you know, being injured is the last thing you want. You know, your coach is coming in and you're still injured. It sucks. You want to be back on the pitch from the day one of the preseason, but then you really can't. Something that, you know, you need to deal with, but at the same time, you just need to be patient. It's been a long journey for me, especially with the injury that I never had before. It was a little bit tricky. Now coming down here in Orlando and uh, you know getting healthier and healthier, so I feel much better. I'm training with the team every single day and getting some minutes. Once you get on the field, it's clear for me and what I need to work on or what I you know need to prove whatever I need to prove to to the new coaches you know it was so good to see the commitment from guys is a real togetherness you see the guys come into the match and, you know Subasa we thought was excellent I'm definitely looking forward to the season there's definitely more to come we have a lot of good quality players getting new signings so it's coming along together you know just to bring it back for yourself personally, now that you're back to full health, are you, are you feeling like Captain Subasa? <laughs> uh, 
well, close enough, but I will never get there. He's, he's too good. <laughs> <laughs> um, awesome. Thanks. Sir.